When debugging or troubleshooting a design, one of your most important tools is an oscilloscope. And when you need to use your oscilloscope, you want to focus on the design problem, not on working around limitations with your equipment. But which oscilloscope should you buy? Selecting a mid-range oscilloscope based on the datasheet can be difficult since many appear to have the same specifications and comparable features. This short video will provide a quick overview and comparison of the Tektronix MSO DPO5000 series and the Agilent MSO DSO X4000A series oscilloscopes. First, let's look at a quick comparison of the specifications and features that affect how you discover and capture your signals for debugging. The first thing you might notice is the size of the display. A large high resolution display makes it much easier to visualize your signals, especially when you zoom in on the details of the signals. But wait, the Graticule areas are about the same size, but the Agilent product has a lower resolution display. 640 pixels wide where it really matters on the waveform. Before you can see your waveforms on the display, you have to connect the oscilloscope to your signals with a probe. The greater than or equal to 1 gigahertz models in the Tektronix 5000 series come standard with 1 gigahertz passive probes. These passive probes have the highest bandwidth and lowest capacitive loading in the industry. The greater than or equal to 1 gigahertz models in the Agilent X4000A series come standard with passive probes that have only 700 megahertz the bandwidth and about two and a half times the probe loading. To get full bandwidth performance, you need to use active probes and sacrifice dynamic range. The first step in debugging a design is to discover how the circuit is behaving. In this digital pulse train, we can see that there are occasional narrow and low amplitude pulses as indicated by their low brightness. The Agilent X4000A provides a similar intensity graded display of the signal while it is running, but that information is lost if you stop acquisitions to examine the display. To effectively debug your design, you need to accurately capture the information. When evaluating oscilloscopes, in addition to looking at bandwidth and rise time, there are two other factors that are important to note, record length and sample rate. The Tektronix 5000 series standard record length for all channels is 25 megapoints standard and optionally up to 125 megapoints. The Agilent X4000A series standard record length for all channels is 2 megapoints maximum, but the usable memory varies with the time-based setting and other factors. The greater than or equal to 1 gigahertz models in the Tektronix 5000 series have a 10 giga sample per second maximum sample rate. And you can adjust the record length to ensure there is sufficient sample rate for a given time-based setting to accurately reproduce the signal. For example, at 2 milliseconds per division on the 5000 series, you can set the record length as high as 200 megapoints and achieve the full 10 giga samples per second sample rate on a single channel. The Agilent X4000A series has a maximum sample rate of 2.5 giga samples per second, but you are limited to 200 mega samples per second when acquiring a single acquisition at 2 milliseconds per division. In run mode, you can see that it is limited to 100 mega samples per second. The record length has automatically been set and cannot be adjusted. After you have captured the information, an automatic search feature can save a lot of time by replacing the need to manually scroll through thousands of screens of data. The Agilent X4000A series list of search criteria is much more limited. The final step in the debug process is analyze. Looking at the specifications, you will notice that the Tektronix 5000 search, measurement, and math record length matches the record length specification of the oscilloscope. On the other hand, the Agilent X4000A series manual describes its smaller measurement record as 65,536 points maximum, a significant limitation on measurement resolution. So remember, when looking for an oscilloscope, take a close look at the specification and make sure that the key features will support your debug efforts. 
You'll find that for debugging your designs, Tektronix's MSO DPO5000 series offers the best set of features to speed every stage of debug. Discover, capture, search, and analyze. Visit Tektronix.com for more information.